Do you guys remember this? The Hexbug Nano. This goofy little vibrating machine that moves when you turn it on. I remember building obstacle courses for these guys and having a blast. I mean, just look how cute it is. Aww. Oh, it's flexing now. Judging by the image here, I'm expecting the arms to move up and down when the bug turns on. <laughs> oh my god, it's amazing. I mean, works all right. All right, go explore the world, little bug. Hey, wait, where are you going? Aw, oh, man, I'm gonna have to chase it around and it's just gonna keep on moving. That is so frustrating. Yeah, I agree with myself. Why go through the trouble of chasing it around to turn it off when it doesn't have to be that way? I decided to make my own version of the hex bug where it's sound activated. That way, you only have to scream when you want it to stop. Who wrote this script? So I got to work. So I bought this Grove beginner kit for Arduino and it comes with a bunch of sensors. The only one I care about right now though is this sound sensor. And there's also this display here, which is pretty cool as well. Yep, looks like it works. After doing some tinkering, some dilly-dallying, some tomfoolery, I got the electronics to work. On. Off. On. On. Off. <laughs> okay, so I got it to work pretty well. I'm testing it out on an LED, but this is the code for it. Basically, it's just a bunch of if statements. So if sound loud and light off, then turn light on. Else, if sound loud and light on, then turn light off. Now it's time to put all of that into a chassis. But that meant I couldn't use my laptop as a power source anymore. And uh, there was one tiny issue. You see, this Grove microcontroller only had a micro USB port, and apparently nowhere on earth does anybody sell a micro USB to battery holder adapter thing. I mean, it's probably out there somewhere, but I was too lazy to like spend more than five minutes to check. My solution was to solder my own battery adapter together, so I got some more work. But after building the prototype, I discovered a very big glaring issue. So there's good news and bad news. Good news is I've been experimenting with 3D printing and I was able to successfully print out some threaded holes, which means I can screw down the components. Bad news is I do not think ahead. <laughs> so it turns out the vibration motor makes a lot of noise, which means every time I turn this thing on, the sound sensor detects that and it turns off right away. So I guess it's time to go back to the drawing board. Oh, why did I not think of that? That was such an oversight by me. What, what, what was I thinking? So after contemplating my life decisions for an hour, more like a day, I adjusted my plan. Instead of using a sound sensor, I was gonna use an infrared receiver with a remote. That way, this stupid worthless motor can be as loud as it wants to be. Okay, so I bought a bunch of stuff that I might need, but all of these guys, they're retiring. Oh no. Now the way this works is whenever you push a button, it will send a special hex code to the infrared receiver. So you would develop your program to do stuff whenever your Arduino receives a certain hex code from pushing a specific button. Yeah, seems pretty simple, right? Well, for some reason, I couldn't get the hex codes to print properly, and all I got was whatever this was. I spent a century figuring out what was wrong, but eventually I managed to get it to work. 
it's midnight and I finally got this shit to work. Watch this. I'm gonna take this remote. I'm gonna push the minus button. Boom, turns off. Push the plus button. Boom, turns back on. Finally, this took forever to do. Now nothing can go wrong. Everything is great. I hope. I adjusted my CAD model and all there was left to do was put everything together. And surprisingly, everything went all right. Okay, this is the first real bug test. Let's see how well it moves. <laughs> okay, it moves. I call that successful. It's a little slow, but it's not about the speed. It's about the effort. So there we go. I reinvented the hex bug. Well, not really, but it'll make for a good video title. All right, well, I guess that's it. Um, okay, well, thanks. See you guys.